Maggie, thank you so much for coming. Would you please start with saying um, where are you from and um, how did you get saved and what was your life uh, like before your salvation? I'm from here from Pasco. Uh, I started coming to Hungry Gen two years ago. Um, my first service was actually on a Christmas service. Uh, my niece invited me to come see her be baptized. And, um, man, the person that I was then, I was, uh, whew, I was depressed. I was suicidal. I had no confidence, no hope. Uh, I just didn't have a reason to live in my mind. And, um. When I walked in those doors, the feeling of love and acceptance was so overwhelming. And um, whew, uh, I, it was almost scary. So I didn't come for a couple of services. And Genesis just never let up on me. And um, so I came a couple more times. And then she invited me to raise to deliver. And um, I saw things that. I didn't think were even possible when I went there, and um, I gave my life to Christ. And so here I am uh, a couple years later, and I am a completely different person. Um, God has just shown, I've learned so many things from all the people in this church, from the pastors, from the women, and um, in, in those two years, I mean, physically, emotionally, mentally, the Bible says uh, that we're transformed by the renewing of our mind. And since I've been here, my mind is just in a completely different place. I, I'm confident. I'm 200 pounds lighter. Um, Come on. Such a transformation that God does when we give our lives to Jesus Christ. He can change our lives around, but sometimes it takes time. For Maggie, it, take, it took two years, and God is still working with her, still working with her. But there is so much. Would you please share with us, like, how, uh, how are you feeling right now with your, like, uh, that you used to have depression and anxiety? Are those things gone? Completely. Um, you know, it's still a struggle. The, the devil, the enemy does not stop trying to attack and trying to um, come at you. But like I said, when you're surrounded by people who are here to help you and, and um, you continue to read your word and not only be disciplined um, physically, but disciplined in reading your word and praying and fasting and all those things, um, it helps you to, to fight all those battles. Come on, come on. Let's put our hands together for Megan. Come on. You know, she mentioned that she lost 200 pounds for the last past two years, right? But let me tell you, I'm watching her stories on Instagram and this lady is a beast mode. She is, yes, she wakes up probably before 5 a.m. and I already see her running, doing all those things, hustling and come on, disciplined. That is so amazing. Tell me, please, and all of us, uh, where did you get that motivation and, and what keeps you going physically wise? So, um, like I said, you know, we read the word, we, we pray, and slowly God will start to reveal things to you. And um, I was reading the Bible one day and, and I came to 1 Corinthians 9, 27, and it says, I strike a blow to my body and make it my slave. So that when you preach to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. And it just, it hit me. And it's not just about, you know, being strong mentally and emotionally. You, you have to be the best version of yourself in every way. In every way. Because we are made in his image. So we can't, I had so much confidence issues there was and we got to be confident when we're a child of God when we know when it's in our mind and we know that we are a child of God you got to be confident in that and walk in it and I've just that's something that I've learned as I've like I said grown here 
on. That is so amazing. Maggie, would you please give a word of advice to someone who has not given their lives to Jesus Christ and what would you tell them? Trust God. That's probably been the biggest thing for me is just trusting that at the end of the day, no matter what we are going through, be confident that he's going to pull you through whatever it is. You just cannot stop fighting. He fights for us. We have to fight for him. It's, a, it's actually Pastor Ilya preached a word where he said it's like a 50-50. Like, he's always going to take care of us, but we have to do our part yes. as warriors in this battle. Come on. Thank you so much, Megan. Hi there. This is Lana. Thank you so much for watching this testimony. I bet you were blessed. If you would like to see more of these testimonies, please subscribe and thank you again for watching.